Hello, my name is Elsie. I am the founder of The Vision Production. I'm also an author, a poet, and also a speaker. Uh, on this channel, I talk about cultures. I talk about cultures from different parts, but mostly I speak about Zimbabwe and also United States where I live. And usually it's things that I have heard from people and also what mostly I have faced myself living in the United States. Today, I'll be showing you the books that I already have and um, uh, the memoir should be coming soon. Everything that I'm sharing with you, there is links below. So um, remember to just go to the links and you can get more information on everything that I'm going to share with you today and all my work today. So today I'm focusing on just talking about my books. So I'm going to begin with the very book that I began with, Into the Millennium Poems. That's the title of this book. And um, these are just poems centering on all the different things that have been happening and um, how the days have been going. Everything is really, it's really just... Um, Things that are like that, you know. Uh, the first poem here is the one that really made me to want to really write because it's the um, original computer. You are the best of all the computers. You take me far away to places i never been before. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. With only one key, you do everything. You captivate people of different cultures languages and races the educated and the uneducated too even little children everyone can use the universal you you take me high you take me low with you i can feel sad and happy you never lose a memory with the only one key I gather pages and pages of sweet memories, also pages and pages of bad memories, along with pages and pages of hopes and dreams. You are the key to my past, present, and future. There is no other computer to compare to the original computer, the mind. So this is just like a glimpse was what's inside there. And uh, my second book is called Life Lesson Poems. I'm not going to go and read also a poem in there. I think I'll have another session where I might pick a poem or a couple of poems and read to uh, those who are interested. And if you are interested in, in me doing that in, on this channel, I can do that. So put in the comments below that you are interested in the poems that we can have like, you know, a, a five minutes of just reading poems and I can do that. Uh, so my second book is Life Lesson Poems. No. And I have uh, the third one is called The Rare Glimpse. This is a reflection. It's like short stories of me just reflecting about different things in life. And the reason that really made me to want to put this together is because I came to realize as I was going through my reflection, I came to realize that these reflections that I am doing, they are not just me. I came to realize that there is many people who are reflecting the same things, who are thinking the same way, who wants actually to bring this also to them but maybe they don't have a way. Maybe they don't understand how to do it. Maybe they don't even think they should do it. So I have topics like we should own our life, not borrow it. And then I just go through it. You know, how do we own our life? How do, how do we not borrow it? We own our life. That kind of thing. So these are all things that I talk about in this um, uh, book. And then one I have stranded into stranded in Zimbabwe. This is a very unique and unusual uh, story. 
this is just one story of um, me going home to Zimbabwe uh, just for a visit wanting to be there for three weeks and it ended up being four weeks for not four weeks sorry four months of staying in Zimbabwe so this is just narration of how do you do that how do you take it from three weeks to four four months how do you adjust your mind everything that are around you and all the things that you had planned how do you adjust it to bring everything from me being back at this home in america and me staying in zimbabwe how do you adjust to that there's so much in it that um it's shocking you know when I, the news broke i was preparing that i'm going to be in harare too a little bit uh with my daughter see harare and then in a couple of days we are flying back that's when the, when the news came they came in a very unexpected way very unusual thing and from that moment i had to rethink and try to adjust and try to figure out so it's another very um interesting story to uh read uh on top of that i have my memoir coming up uh it had been in the works for a few years now and i'm, I'm doing the final touches of it uh and i'll be bringing it up to uh share with you so for everything that i'm sharing there is a link below that you can go and grab and you can go to the site and you can see everything all the books and all the things that's coming out all the activities that i've been doing i have been doing different activities you are also going to see them there so i encourage everyone to grab the link and just go and see uh, everything that's there please don't forget to subscribe and also ring the notification bell so that you can be notified when i bring another interesting video to you thank you so much for watching see you next time bye